Good afternoon everyone. Thanks so much for joining us. So today we're going to talk about the 10 virgins. So we're going to go to Matthew chapter 25 and we're reading from verse 8 till about verse 10. I'm going to talk about the whole account but I'm not going to read the whole account otherwise it will be a while until we finish. So reading from verse 8 it says, And the foolish said unto the wise, Give us of your oil, for our lamps are gone out. But the wise answered, saying, Not so, lest yet there be not enough for us and you. But go ye rather to them that sell, and buy for yourselves. And while they went to buy, the bridegroom came, and they that were ready went in with him to the marriage and the door was shut so today we are talking relationship maintenance so we spoke about relationship growth we spoke about the foundational parts of relationship and I just want to highlight that in this account there were ten virgins right um, five were wise and five were foolish. Um, they were considered foolish within the context of the scripture. And the five that were wise kept their lamps filled with oil ready to go. Remember yesterday we talked about preparation. So they were ready to do whatever God called them to do. They were ready for when the bridegroom came. They were ready. They were ready. They were prepared for whatever was coming. And the five unwise or foolish virgins left their lamps empty. As a matter of fact, it said that they slumbered, meaning that they were just treating things callously. They were not even making an attempt. They were just lazing around, you know, instead of doing the work of the Lord. When COVID-19 came, they were sleeping, binge watching TV, all these different things. Liming, um, going against protocol and having parties, whatever it is they were doing. And I'm not criticizing you or <laughs> bashing you if you fell in the category of um, binge watching TV and stuff like that because sometimes when things happen we just don't know what to do but a lot of us may have fell into that and at some point I would have fallen into that because there wasn't much I can do during the time because I was pregnant but then the Lord spoke to me and he called me out of it so sometimes we fall prey to these things but we can't stay in that position we have to arise like we keep saying arise that word again arise which means to rise up and accomplish don't forget and we have to arise and go forward and do what god has called us to do so here the five virgins their lamps were full they were consistently doing the work of god they were consistently maintaining their relationship with christ they were consistently having their devotions. They were consistently talking to God. And the unwise virgins, or the foolish virgins, they weren't the slightest bit buttered. They were just laying around and doing whatever. They were just, I guess you could say, wasting time. And when the bridegroom came, they heard the alarm. Then they remembered, my lamp have no oil. Listen, if your lamp have no oil, there's no time to fill like now. If you feel disconnected from Christ, there's no time to reconnect like now. If you feel like you are not doing enough for him, there's no time to begin like now. Whatever you have to do to be ready for the bridegroom when he comes, to be ready for Christ when he returns for us, you do that. You do whatever it takes. Give God your all. Do whatever it takes to make it into that place with him. And it says here that they went to get oil. But guess what happened? Between the sound of the alarm 
and the going for oil, the bridegroom came. So they didn't have time to go and get the oil and come back. Because when the alarm sound, it happened immediately. The wise who were ready went with him. And you might say they were heartless for not sharing their oil. But the fact is, they prepared for this moment. And remember, we talked about the relationship with Christ, your relationship with Christ being an individual thing. So, it being an individual thing, you can't share your oil. Even if you want to, you can't because it's on the inside of you. This is a literal example. And we are talking figuratively here. But the oil now is on the inside of you. So you can't share your oil even if you want to. So, yeah, they were like, no, nothing not stopping me from going with my bridegroom. So whoever do have, that is it, the alarm sound, that is the end of it. I not taking any chances. So they didn't take any chances. They prepared themselves, they worked hard, they were diligent, they were consistent, they were committed, and they were prepared. So they took their oil and they went to meet with the bridegroom. And then it says that while the foolish ones went out to buy oil, the bridegroom came. And whoever was ready went into the marriage with him and the door was shut. And later on, you would see they asking, they knocking on the door and they asking, well, Lord, Lord, open up to us. And he said, who is it? He said, listen, I do not know you. They were not staying connected to God. They were not completely and consistently building their relationship with him, maintaining their relationship with him, doing what he has called them to do. So he said, I know you not. And verse 13, which is the end of that particular account says, Watch therefore, for you know neither the day nor the hour wherein the Son of Man cometh. None of us know when Christ will come, but it's our responsibility to be prepared for his coming. So today, I encourage you, whatever God is calling you to do, get up and do it. Arise and go forth and do what God has called you to do. God is not wasting on you, you know. None of us know the time. The wise nor the foolish virgins knew the time. But the advantage the wise virgins had was that they were prepared. Don't let Jesus return and catch you with your pants down. Quote unquote, your pants down. Do not let him return and you are not prepared. You are not ready because the end will not be easy. It will be worse than living in this earth with whatever sufferings you are going through now. So, I really implore and encourage you to keep prepared, to keep maintaining that relationship with Christ, keep building that relationship, keep doing what you have to do, maintain that relationship with him and do all that he has called you to do. Trust me, it will pay off and he will allow you into the marriage to suck with him. So continue to be focused on God, continue to maintain that relationship with God and do what he has called you to do. You would never be sorry. So I declare today that you are like the wise virgins. You are prepared, you are ready, and you are committed beyond a shadow of a doubt to what God has called you to. Continue to be blessed. Thanks so much for listening. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the little bell there, and continue to listen and follow us for more information and more exaltation of who God is and who God has called you to be. I am here because of you, because you need what God has. And I am simply his vessel, making myself available to not just let you know 
but also to help me grow in who God has called me to be. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful afternoon. Bye.